As a memorial grows outside Ingram High School, so does the feeling of sadness from neighbors nearby. You would be grateful if your child walked out. Every parent would be. Unfortunately, you know, some of them didn't. 65-year-old Cynthia Barton has been the eyes and ears of this block located near the high school for 35 years. But she's never seen anything like what unfolded Tuesday. It was just a, a zoo. I mean, there were cars everywhere going up and down the street, people trying to find places to park. Barton, along with many other neighbors, did everything they could to help the hundreds of concerned parents that arrived just outside their doors, rushing to find their children. And I was telling people they could pull in and park, you know. So we were just trying to accommodate whatever we could do. I know my sister-in-law even got somebody some tea or something in their car. You know, we just did what we could as a neighborhood with a situation that was presented to us. My husband let me know what was going on. And just next door is Rachel McGrew. Nothing can emotionally ever prepare you for something like this. She and her husband just moved into this home three months ago. They also allowed parents to park in their driveway, putting themselves in their shoes. We don't have children yet, but they would go to Ingram and to think like I went, we wouldn't be able to protect them in that moment was definitely the hardest thing to kind of process through. McGrew says she still loves her new neighborhood and believes Tuesday's tragedy will hopefully bring the community closer together. And school was canceled today and will also be canceled tomorrow. For now, live in Seattle, Brady Wakayama, King 5 News.